It's time now to do exercise four. And in this exercise, we're going to practice some of the skills that we've learnt in this section of the course. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to open the exercise file exercise4.xlsx. Now this exercise has two parts and in part one I'd like you to use Excel formulas to answer the questions listed in column I. And in part two I'd like you to calculate the new term fee for each student. So open up the exercise, all of the instructions are in there. If you'd like to see my answer then please keep watching. So you can see in part one, we're practicing basic formulas and we have a table below that shows some students and the mark or the score that they achieved in four different tests. And I asked you to answer the questions that we have listed in column I. So the first question here, what is Pradeep's total score out of 400? Because they have a maximum of 100 points available for each test. So this is a very basic sum calculation. We can type in equals, sum, press the tab key, and then we want to make sure that we select all of Pradeep's scores. Close the bracket, hit enter, and you can see he scored 347 out of a possible 400. Well done, Pradeep. The next question, what is Adele's total score for test two and test four? So again, we're going to do a sum calculation, but our selection needs to be a little bit different because test two and test four are not next to each other. So our first number, let's just find Adele. There she is. We're going to select test two and you could have put a plus symbol in here or you can simply do a comma and select test four. Let's close the bracket, hit enter, and you can see the answer is 134 points. The next question is how many students sat a test? So we simply want to count the number of students in this list. So I'm going to use count A because I want to count the text. Remember when you use count it's only going to count numeric values. So I'm going to make my selection of all of the students, close the bracket, hit enter, and we have 14 students in the list. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. The next question, what was Cressida's average score? So for this, we're going to use the average function. And all we want to do is find Cressida, there she is right at the bottom, select all of her scores, close the bracket, and we can see that she's got an average score of 81.25. The next question to answer is, what was the overall minimum score for test three? So for this, we want to use the min function. And we're just going to select all of the scores in test three, close the bracket, hit enter, and 45 was the minimum score for this test. And then finally, what was Olivia's maximum score? So for this one, we're going to use max. Let's find Olivia. There she is. And we're going to select all of her scores, close the bracket, hit enter. Her maximum score across all of the tests was 77. So that part of the exercise got you to have a good practice of some of those basic formulas. Now, part two of this exercise is where we practice absolute referencing. And again, we have a list of student names. We have the amount they pay for their term at university. And over in cell G24, we have a fee increase next year of 5.2%. So I asked you to calculate what next year's term fee is going to be with this increase. So for this, we need to do a sum calculation and we're going to do the term fee multiplied by the fee increase, the percentage. Now, because we want to drag this formula down, we need to lock this cell in place because we don't want it to move. Remember, that's the difference between absolute and relative referencing. So I'm going to press F4 to lock those cells in place, close the bracket, and then I'm going to add on top of this the term fee. Let's hit enter. 
widen out that column and then we can double click to copy down. And now we have the new term fee for each of those students. So that is it. That is what was required for exercise four. I hope you got an OK with that and I will see you in the next section. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for Beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.